Went to the mail, and I looked inside. I found a hacker box, a hacker box. Greetings, hacker box friends. It's another hacker box. Today's hacker box is hacker box 40, pick of destiny. And already I can tell that I'm not gonna like this. Uh, I don't particularly like PIC microprocessors because their compiler is like the free one is super unoptimized and you have to pay for any other optimization levels. So you have to basically pay for their compiler if you want anything good, uh, which basically turns me off to the whole thing. But anyway, so what have we got? Ooh, we've got a breadboard. Um, is this the good kind of breadboard? Let's see. So there are good breadboards and there are bad breadboards. And the good breadboards have nice springy um, clips uh, and they're relatively tight. The bad ones have like shorter clips and they're really poorly made. Uh, I think, well, let's uh, take some wires and find out. Okay, so uh, what would you do with one of these things? Well, typically you would put a chip in it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, I think this is the good one. Um, the bad ones are extremely tight when you first get them, and you can barely put any wires in them. Uh, and then, of course, when you bend the springs out, they stay there. So I like this. Um, I'm pretty happy about this. Um, I like the fact that the power strip goes all the way across. Some of them have um, divides in the middle. Then you have to jump them because, you know, um, I guess, I don't know why they did that because you might have more than three or four power supplies on a board. I don't know. Anyway, so nice. Got a breadboard. Uh, what else have we got? We have a little piece of cardboard, which doesn't mean anything. We have a USB cable and a thing, some jumpers. And they are either male or female. That's nice, I guess. Um, honestly, I would have liked them to have included a strip of like 40 of these. Oh, actually, these are, hmm, these are different. These are uh, equal lengths on both sides. So, yeah, that's a little bit more expensive, I guess. But anyway, uh, random components, including some guitar picks. A pick, a pick, okay, I get it. I see what you did there. Um, a pick kit three, yeah, I'm not gonna use that because I don't program picks. Um, let's see what else we've got. Oh, we've got a breadboard power supply. So this is a power supply that just, you know, fits on your breadboard and you, you can plug it into USB or you can plug it into, I think probably a 12 volt DC power supply. Um, and it will give you, I believe, Five, uh, actually it's, it's uh, there are some jumper selections here. So uh, I think you can get like 3.3 volts and five volts out of this. So this is convenient. Oh, this is very nice. Um, anything with uh, ZIF sockets, zero insertion for sockets, I like. Um, but what is it? Well, let's see. It seems to have a memory, an M clear. Let's see, VCC ground, PGD, and PGC. So is it a programmer of some kind? Probably a DIY pick programmer is, I'm, is what I'm guessing. Um, oh, this is, this is nice, it's an LCD. Okay, these are always useful. Uh, this is um, an LCD. Um, you can get them from Adafruit. Uh, they're the, pretty much the same thing. It's got a little backlight. Um, this one appears to be, I can't really tell how many characters there are on this. 
Very difficult to tell. Um, and usually what you can do is you can just look up the, the number online. This kind of looks like it's going to be a two-row display, maybe by, I don't know, two by 10, 20 characters. Well, anyway, they're nice. LCDs are always useful. Oh, this is nice. Um, a wiring kit with jumpers. Uh, possibly convenient. I don't know. I just, you know, I, I have rolls of these in all sorts of different colors. But if you don't have these, these are pretty good. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a photo micrograph of a PIC controller. And that's all there is. So what are these things? Well, uh, we've got some buttons, resistors, LEDs. We've got a potentiometer, um, some capacitors. We've got a crystal, which I assume you need to run a PIC. I don't know. And we've got some guitar picks, which, okay. And in the zip socket, we have a PIC 16F 628, which is a large one. And we've got a small one. It looks like a PIC 12F 675. Again, I don't use picks, so I can't really use these. Um, but uh, I could use the zip socket for something. I could desolder this pretty easily and have another ZIF socket. They're useful for like, you know, building test fixtures and test jigs and things like that. Um, oh, and we have a G28 U8FTTL GPS module. That's kind of neat. That's pretty interesting. GPS module. Very nice. Um, and it looks like it has TXD and RXD ground VDO PPS I think hmm this may just uh, operate uh, as a UART so you could in theory hook this up to a, uh, a serial port and uh, read it that way of course nobody has serial ports on their computers anymore so you would need a USB to serial port adapter and then hook that into this. Um, and then on your computer, you would just run a USB to serial port driver. So that is what is in today's hacker box. Uh, a relatively nice assortment of things, again, with the exception of the PIC microcontrollers which I absolutely despise. But hey, I know that there are some people who love PIC microcontrollers, and if you've paid for your compiler, good for you. So until next time, see ya.